Hey, what's going on guys? Chris here from DIY E65, E66.com and today's video I'm going to show you guys another little problem with a coolant leak that I have and this one is actually leaking faster than my other video so if you're wondering about your coolant leak uh, first check the sensor down here on the lower hose that was my problem with the first leak but now I have a second leak and it is right here so as you can tell um, I'm looking at the dried coolant uh, that is crusted on the side of my um, fill reservoir here. This is where you pour in the coolant right here. And uh, this is where the sensor is right here as well. Feeds to the, uh, the engine, of course. Um, well, if you look at it carefully here, let me show you. So here is the crustaceans, and there's a little drop that is crusted off right where my screwdriver is right here so I know the leak is coming from right there and it is dripping straight down here and then going on to my pan and then my garage floor and that's exactly the precise location when I move the car the precise location is dripping down below there so what I'm gonna do here is you have two options here with uh, the expansion uh, coolant tank here you can buy all new one but then you have to uh, you know connect all your new hoses here and here down below which shouldn't be too much of a problem here over you know here I haven't quite figured out how to pull the whole thing out yet but I'm gonna try to do a cheap fix under a couple bucks is I'm gonna clean that off and I'm just gonna smother um, JB Weld the quick one that dries quickly I'm gonna smear JB, uh, JB Weld and I'll show you what that is and how to mix it all over that right there and it should uh, hold the uh, the pressure in and hold that leak from uh, leaking. And so I'll give you guys a synopsis afterwards and let you know how it is. So to get to this point, it's pretty simple. And quickly, this is exactly the start of what you're going to do here. Um, this needs to be removed here. We have a flathead here. Two clips on the back of your box here. Remove that. Put that out of the way. Unscrew that and that unlatches. Take out your air filter and then. And guys, uh, remember if you uh, want to know how to get to this point with the air filter box removed, uh, the air filter for the engine. So I got my box out over here and it's real simple. Slides in this way facing the bumper here. And uh, it's just real simple here. It has uh, two Phillips right here and here. You remove those Phillips, but first, of course, you got to remove your air filter top of the box here undo that with a flathead and I have videos that show this step by step so um, if you wanna check that out check out my uh, other lower hose uh, coolant video and I show you the details behind that but the only tricky thing bringing the box out you gotta watch this line right here now this line scoots over a little bit see the compression I can push it over just a little bit without putting too much tension on it that's the way you slip out the corner of the box over here so you pull it up you gotta push this out of the way and then you gotta slip it out from this slot right here here's where the Phillips go here again I have another video that explains that alrighty guys first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna clean that so we can get a clean nice surface to put the uh, JB weld on here so again right where my thumb is right there that little blob is that's where the leak is coming out of so my guess it's you know just plastic unfortunately it um, cracks and breaks under pressure or whatnot, you know, but the tank looks good. It's just probably a small, like I said, a small crack down there. So you could also clean off down below where it was dripping as well if you'd like. Okay, so let's go ahead and dry that off and let's put on the GB weld. All right, guys, now with it dried off and cleaned, you can actually see exactly where the crack is in the plastic. As you can see right there, the coolant... Um, under pressure or just when it's heated up slips through this crack right here and then drips uh, straight down right here and your sensor if you ever need to replace your sensor your sensor is uh, right below connected right over here kinda goes shoots up the bottom into this right here well anyway what we're gonna do like I said we're gonna put JB weld we're gonna just smother it all over here and uh, just seal that in really nicely so let's go ahead and mix it up and let me show you what that exactly is Alright guys, this is JB Weld, and what it is, 
It's um, an epoxy, and so if you guys know of a better epoxy, go ahead and use that. But this one is fantastic. Um, JB Weld, of course, right there. And I'll have a link in the description box where you can pick this up. This is JB Weld Quick Weld. It uh, sets in six minutes, cure time four to six hours, and the cure color is dark gray. Um, and uh, again, it works on multiple surfaces. Everything over here, easy to use, mix up. Metal, wood, plastic, tile, PVC, ceramic, fiberglass, etc., etc. But let's go ahead and mix this up and keep this video semi-short. So what I like to do is I like to use um, a plastic or a paper plate and something that I can throw away after I'm done, and also a plastic fork to mix it up. You know, just something that you get at the grocery store for free. And uh, what you want to do with this is you just want to put even amounts of the hardener and epoxy on. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the black one here in the case and of course you have to pop the top. So let's do that. And of course it comes out nice and black and you got to be a little careful because sometimes it kind of oozes coming out. But you want to get a nice straight line. I always do it in kind of a straightish straightish line like this and we want to get a nice lot of it so we can really smear it on there. Of course pop the cap back on nice and tight. Now I'll get the other one and what I like to do here is I like to go ahead and put it right next to it so I know how much I'm getting a nice even line as well. So there we go just like that. Pop the cap back on and then we're gonna just mix it thoroughly with the end of our plastic fork so we can throw our fork away and again, don't let this sit for too long. You want to get this on after you uh, mix it thoroughly because this stuff will set and become very hard very, very quickly. So let me finish mixing this. Be right back with you. Okay, as you can see when it's fully mixed, it turns this nice dark gray color. So let's come back up here and put it on. Okay, and again, know what you're doing and, and do it quickly because set time is, like I said, six minutes. So what I do is I just get the end of, and I have to, I might have to do a couple of applications, but I get the end of my thing here, put that on real nicely there, and if you get this on your fingers, it's not going to cause, you know, um, you just want to wipe it up after you're done. If you want to smooth it in with your fingers, I've done that a couple times. It's just kind of sticky, but uh, you know it's okay, and just try not to, of course, drip it anywhere else. And if you want to make it look real pretty, you can, but I'm not going to make it look too terribly pretty. I just want to get it fixed. And of course, don't seal up. Don't get it on your sensor or on the hose because you don't want that to latch on. So let's get a little bit more on the edges. And you just pretty much want to get a nice thick base there so that it dries and nice and water airtight. I use JB Weld also in my um, video, um, my brake bleeding, uh, make your own pressure uh, um, brake bleeder as well to seal the cap. And let's see, that looks good. Okay, I put a little bit more up here, and of course it's down there as well, just in case. Whoop, I got a little bit of my finger, but see, that's all right. And um, so I put it up and down below just in case. The crack was right through this section right there. Um, and as you can see, I put a little bit extra and now it's kind of... Here's a shot of the, uh, the box uh, back in here. And again, there's the two Phillips heads I put back in. And it just slides straight down, of course. And then you dip and you got to pull that little hose out of the way a little bit. That corner goes in. Looks like this. And then you just plop your air filter back on it. Close the box. Seal it up. And you're good. And then of course in the back side right here was my leak right there. So we're looking good. That is that guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and please head on over to DIYE65E66.com where you can find all these videos, tips and tricks. Um, I go into detail explaining my procedures in writing as well. And uh, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Alright guys, take care. Bye bye.